The informant privilege provides that the government is typically allowed to keep the identity of its informants confidential. In McCray v. Illinois, we explore the operation of the informant privilege at a probable cause hearing. An informant told police that George McCray sold drugs on a particular street corner. The police didn't have a warrant to arrest or search McCray. Nevertheless, they went to the corner identified by the informant, located McCray, and placed him in their cruiser. A search of his person revealed heroin. McCray was charged with narcotics possession. McCray moved to suppress the heroin, arguing that it resulted from an unlawful search and seizure. Two of the arresting officers testified at the suppression hearing. They explained that the informant had provided reliable information in previous drug cases. The informant's information had resulted in multiple arrests and convictions. The officers provided the names of various defendants who'd been arrested and convicted based on the informant's tips. McRae's attorney asked both officers for the informant's name and address. The prosecution objected, and the trial court sustained the objection. The informant's name was never disclosed. The trial court found that the officers had probable cause to arrest and search McRae. Accordingly, it denied McRae's motion to suppress. Evidence of the heroin found during the officer's search was admitted at trial, and McRae was convicted. The Illinois Supreme Court affirmed. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.